Studio D in the heart of Southampton, here is Solent News with presenters Leela Oliver and Ellis Batchelor. Good afternoon everyone, here's the headlines. So apparently an obese cat has been forcefully sent to rehab, I wonder why? And a lady diagnosed with eye-catching disease. Apparently some parents have been arrested for doing an exorcism on their poor baby. But before any of that, local news. Aggressive seagulls in the park are creating a public nuisance, spreading litter and stealing food. Jen Smart has this report. Here I am in the park where we are reporting on the aggressive roadmen seagulls listening to grime. Police reports have said that people have been reporting really loud grime music in the evening and the seagulls being aggressive towards their children and their dogs. I am now joined with Susan Cliff, to, who I'm interviewing to ask about the seagull problem. So what is wrong with the seagulls? They are causing so much havoc, stealing people's food, spreading litter and listening to grime. At first I thought it was just some drunk people walking home, but turns out outside my window was the seagulls listening to grime. Do you not like grime? I'm more of a classical music kind of person myself, so hearing these seagulls outside my window at night, listening to grime, really makes me uncomfortable and something needs to be done about it. How close do you live to the park? Um, I only live up there, so the seagulls are everywhere, especially when I walk to work. What do you think we can do to solve this problem? I think more support should be given to the seagulls to help them with their addiction to grime. It's quite clear to see that this is a big problem in this area, affecting people's daily grime. I mean, grime. Jen Smart reporting for Solent News in the park. Wow, well that was definitely something. On to our next piece of news. The Flat Earth Society has started a rolling on the floor festival. Ethan Buckland has this report. Hello, I'm Ethan with Solent News. Today I'm down at the Spark in order to speak with a couple of flat earthers about the local festival that's popped up. Here to talk with me about it is Graham Jones, the current organiser of the event. Graham? Hello. So, what we're all thinking, what is this festival about? The Rolling on the Floor Festival is uh, a festival that created from the Flat Earth Society that was dated back to 2016-ish, where we all were on the floor to prove that the Earth is flat. Hmm. All right. For, those that, for the viewers that don't know, what is the Flat Earth Society? We are truth tellers. We try and tell the world that the world is flat and everyone's been lying to society the whole time. All right. So what do you hope to prove today? Well, the gradient of the spark is so flat that when we roll, we won't actually roll to create the flat earth and show how flat the world is in general. What do you think of people who believe the earth is flat? Um, I think they're probably deluded. I think they are uh, in need of help and assistance. Why are you so passionate about all this? Because I'm fed up with seeing the world being lied to by governments and NASA. I want to finally f see everyone know the truth. We are ready now. It's 2019. This has been Ethan Buckland with Solent News. Back to the studio. Wow, wasn't that enlightening? However, another story. A group of students playing hide and seek in Southampton Park have caused alarm by not turning up to their lectures. They've been missing for three days. Gabe Umashak has this report. Growing up, we've all played a game of hide and seek every now and then, and it's always usually been quite a fun experience. But does the fun ever go too far? Well, I'm standing here at East Park to find out the answer to that question. Over in Sonic University across the road, the majority of the student body has gone completely missing after a viral trend involving a huge game of hide and seek begun a few days ago. It's not believed exactly what the origins were, but it's believed that it all started on Facebook with one person making an event requesting a huge game of hide and seek 
After that, thousands and thousands of students have indulged in this game and began to go and hide around the park and multiple areas of this city, involving other cities as well. No one knows exactly why this is happening, but lecturers are absolutely exhausted with trying to go to their lessons to teach because no one is showing up anymore. I'm joined here by Sophie, who is one of the few people who has managed to escape this trend. Hello Sophie. Hello. So, when did this all begin for you then? Well, on the first day that everyone started to go missing, I turned up to my class and there was no one to be seen. I was, com I was completely unaware of the situation that... That must have been quite odd. So what did you do then once you went in? Did you go and look for anyone or try and find anyone? Yeah, yeah, well, I tried to contact some of my friends, but there was no response to any of them. Ah, oh, that must have been very troubling for you. Did you think there was anything wrong at first, like some, some bad event had taken place? Yeah, definitely, of course. I thought something had happened to all of them. I was a bit worried. I can imagine so. So what, what are you doing now then? Are you just studying at home or are you, are you still trying to study at uni? Yeah, I'm trying to keep up on top of my work at home, but there's not much I can do until I get back to lessons. Well, I can imagine so. Thank you, Sophie. No worries. There's been talks in Parliament today about whether this should be declared a national emergency, with the Prime Minister calling it an absolutely outrageous affair. No one is quite sure what to do yet, but we hope to find some answers soon. This story is constantly updating, so stay tuned with us if you want to find out more. I'm Gabriel Yumashak, reporting from East Park, Southampton for Solent News. Thank you. Everyone here from the studio hopes those students will be found. But on the lighter note, here's Greg Newlands with the weather. Greg, there have been suspicions. Will we have a white Christmas? Yes, we will, most likely. So I get a whoop whoop and stone uni. Um, well, going to carry on with the weather, we are, it, we've got light spells of rain coming up from the bottom parts of Europe that are going to gradually make the way up. These are going to be very heavy rain. So wear a hat or a coat, whatever you want. Um, in London, as you can see, it's minus three degrees. So if you're there right now, wrap up warm. And if you go all the way up to Scotland, you have a large array of, of rain dropping down. It will just carry on coming down the whole day and will gradually carry on throughout the week. Um, the rain will slowly push towards um, the US and uh, Brazil, but uh, over the couple of weeks, we might see a couple of sunshine or even snow. Thank you, Greg. So, Greg, during this winter weather, is there anything you're interested in doing this weekend? Oh, I'll probably go home, have a nice hot chocolate with marshmallows and watch some Loose Women. Good choice, Greg. Oh. Well, I'm Leela Oliver. And this is Ellis. <laughs> And this is the silent news. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day.